we have made a bone broth popsicle. And this is just a fun little summer treat for dogs. Um, all you do is you take a popsicle mold like this, any size, usually bigger so you can fit more stuff in it. Um, what I've done, it's kind of wonky, but what I've done is you take bone broth and you put like peas, I put some veggies, you get to like any cooked vegetable, peas, I've done some broccoli, and then I get a little can of sardines, sardines in water, you could do sardines in oil, but don't have any like flavorings in there. Um, and you can see that's little sardine bits in there, just kind of like chop them up, or some of them stayed whole when I put them in, so it's just kind of a long sardine. And then instead of a popsicle stick, you can do like a piece of like, this is duck jerky, or any kind of like jerky, something kind of sturdy to hold it by. And then just fill the rest with bone broth, and you can put it in there, put some tin foil on it, and freeze it, and it should be ready by the next day. So we're gonna, ooh, we're Duck jerky. Green peas, broccoli, sardines, and bone broth. Pretty nasty. Okay, that seems exciting. <laughs> Alright, back up. Sit. Down. Yummy. <laughs> Always goes for the turkey jerky first, even though everything else is gonna melt. <laughs> oh, that's some good glare on that slobbery ice. <laughs> Oh, I can smell the sardines. Mm -hmm. Oh, it smells awful. Has <laughs> to practice eating ice cubes out of the fridge. Yeah, I get to see. I know it's interesting. The sardines always seem to smell worse after they've been frozen. Like the aroma is getting like reignited or something than when they're fresh. Good girl. Lada, yummy. When did you first start making that for her? Um, I actually saw um, I have some like suggested ad for it on Instagram, and Whoa. I didn't even look at the whole thing, but I figured I was like, oh, okay, this seems like a pretty simple concept. You know, you just put some stuff that your dog likes in it. They didn't put like a sardine in there, but I always have those on hand for her, so I figured like a whole pack is like three or four sardines, so it's perfect for that popsicle mold. So I guess, and that was like a month ago I started trying that, and that's pretty fun. You know, I have a lot of other frozen treats that I like to give her. One of my favorites is I got a little mold for a little dog bone, so I just put like, I get like one of those like medicine syringes that you use for like children, and I'll just like suck up some yogurt and then put it in here, freeze it. Got like cool. a bag of pre-made ones that she loves. Yogurt's full of probiotics, and this is like the perfect little mini dose of probiotics right there. <laughs> and then of course we've always got our favorite chicken feet. She can have one of these as well. They look kind of weird. Usually I give them to her fresh, but um, they don't keep for very long, so I guess we can try a frozen one. I don't know if she's ever had a frozen one before. Don't break your teeth. Chicken feet can be kind of challenging to eat even when they are fresh just because it's just, you know, it's a little bit of bone and then just like collagen, cartilage. They can take her some time. First time frozen chicken feet. It's definitely less gross when they're frozen. When they're when they're fresh, they'll like the feet will like move. Like when she bites, they like hang out <laughs> her mouth and like move around and it's pretty, pretty horrific. Ah. 
how often do you give her something like that? So dogs should never have more than two chicken feet a day. I wouldn't ever give her like two feet a day. I mean, it's kind of more of a treat, but um, when you do feed raw feed, you need to like have a good ratio of like a percentage of bone, a percentage of meat, and a percentage of organ. And there's no like meat or organ in this. It's just kind of your bone. And cartilage is good. And these are tasty and like enriching, so she enjoys them. But these are kind of more of a, a treat, I think. <laughs> When uh, COVID first hit, and like just the United States, and there was a whole like meat shortage and toilet paper and everything, we went to you know see what kind of like hamburger meat or whatever we could get, and there was nothing. But there was a lot of chicken feet and pig's feet, <laughs> and it was really funny because we were like. It's funny to see the things that were left. Yeah, I, when... saw, I saw one picture where it was all of the, like the meat had been removed from the little freezer, freezer section, but someone like, you know, scrolled over and there's just tons of like plant-based options and everyone's like, ugh. All of the perishables went really quickly mm -hmm. and then like afterwards, shortly after, all the non-perishables, like I remember trying to go get soup and there were like two cans right. of like this gross soup that like... <laughs> Yeah, it was a weird time. I remember, I remember, I remember very the weird. meat being like off the shelves. Unfortunately, I wasn't really, I mean, I don't really Bless eat a whole lot of meat myself. So I was fine with all the, the plant-based options, but it was weird. I and mean, just like made me wonder like, why are people buying stuff that's not going to last? Or like, you know, are people going to be just chowing down this meat, like having like a meat fest this weekend? Yes, meat fest meat this fest. weekend <laughs> at Liv's house. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Bring a side. <laughs> Chicken feet your way. You're such the good dog, ma'am. Good girl. You're a natural star. I I would try chicken feet. You would eat some? Yeah. I don't know how to... I, I don't... I mean, I know it's like very popular in like Asian culture. I have a friend from school who grew up eating them. I think her grandmother used to make them. And... But she didn't know like how they were prepared. But she... I mean, she says they're good. I mean, I... I would believe that they're good if prepared correctly, but I just don't like know how you eat them or like what if they're like do you eat the bone like do fried they... fried chicken? Feet. Yeah, I, don't, I, have, I have no idea. I've never like looked into like humanizing these chicken feet. I want to like paint their nails, <laughs> make a necklace of it. Oh man! Sit Hi. Down the Thank you for the kisses. Thank you guys for watching. That was a first for me. Really, really interesting snack. I would never have thought to make one of those for Hunter and that is something that's super interesting to see. Basically the total opposite of what we're feeding Hunter and that is why I want to do more and more videos so I can understand raw food. We can compare the two. It's such a big thing now. So many people are feeding their dogs raw food, and yeah, I'm gonna stop blabbing. <laughs> raw food is a really cool, cool option for some dogs. There's a lot of pros, there's a few cons, there's ways to do it right, there's ways to do it wrong. For me, it's all about having fun, you know, of course the nutrition, but having fun. Um, I love watching my dog figure out how to eat, like, I don't know, something that she would probably eat in the wild, or, you know, it's just kind of interesting to see their, their instincts come out and then see them figure it out. It's kind of like a puzzle almost. And it's fun for her, it's fun for me. Um, and it's interesting, as, you know, if you make everything yourself, it's, it can be done inexpensively. And it's a, a cool thing to always have in the freezer for her. Definitely cooled her down. Yeah, she was panting a lot before. And... She was, actually. And now she's almost basically stopped. Well, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching that. More and more and more of that to come, Plenty so please more. stay tuned. This is Liv and her and sweet Ivy. puppy Ivy. The German Shepherd. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this. We kind of just did it on the fly. I came over to hang out with Liv and she's amazing and has so much knowledge about dogs and raw food diets. It's fascinating. She's teaching me a lot. So please stay tuned. We have a lot more stuff 
planned and yeah. Yes, we do. And let us know for sure if you have any questions about raw feeding, um, any opinions, if you love it, hate it. We want to know, we want to talk about it. Um, and of course, have like more reasons to share this information with you. You are so cute. You are so cute. You're cute. <laughs> you. Yeah. Look at those puppy eyes. Bye, guys. Bye. I'm gonna do the outro thing again. The outro is the, it's like the most awkward. You don't like want to make it. It's gonna make it, it like is. natural, but it's just like, okay, well, okay, we'll bye. Right here on the <laughs> <laughs> if you do oh, one yeah, more do bye, it. just yeah, yeah. And then I yelled it. I was like, bye. <laughs>